Welcome to BIR Matters Guide. Ang topic natin sa video ito ay ang mga salient features ng Republic Act Number no. 11534 or Create Act na kaa-approve pa lang na batas dito sa Pilipinas. Napirmahan po ang batas na ito ni President Duterte noong March 26, 2021 at naging effective naman ito last April 11, 2021. Ang batas na ito ay known as Corporate Recovery and Tax Incentives for Enterprises or CREATE Act. Dahil po sa pagka-approve nito, nagkaroon ito ng effect or amendment sa ating National Internal Revenue Code, particularly sa mga sections number 20 sa Submission of Reports and Pertinent Information by the Commissioner, Section 22 regarding sa mga definition, Section 25, Tax on Non-Resident Alien Individuals. Then sa Section 27, Rates of Income Tax on Domestic Corporation. Then Section 28, Rates of Income Tax on Foreign Corporation. Then Section 29, Imposition of Improperly Accumulated Earnings Tax. Section 34, Deduction from Gross Income. Then sa section 40, determination of amount and recognition of gain or loss. Then sa section 57, withholding tax at source. Then sa section 109, exempt transactions. Then sa section 116, tax on persons exempt from value-added tax. Then sa section 204, sa authority of the commissioner to compromise a bit and refund or credit taxes. Then lastly, sa section 290 regarding sa Congressional Oversight Committee. Now, puntahan na natin ang mga salient features of CREATE Act. Una dito ay effective July 1, 2020 corporate income tax rate is reduced from 30% to 20% for domestic corporations with net taxable income not exceeding 5 million and with total asset not exceeding 100 million pesos. And all other domestic corporations and resident foreign corporations will be subject to 25% income tax. So, ang mga domestic corporation ay pwede masubject ng lower rate na 20% or 25% na corporate income tax. Ang rate na 20% ay maabil lang kung mag-qualify ang taxpayer sa 5 million net taxable income at 100 million na total asset limit. Then yung pangalawa ay ang effect, effective January 1, 2021, income tax rate for non-resident foreign corporation is reduced from 30 to 25%. Then yung pangatlo ay minimum corporate income tax or MCIT rate is reduced from 2% to 1% effective July 1, 2020 to June 30, 2023. So that is for 3 years. Ang pag-reduce ng minimum corporate income tax or MCIT from 2 to 1% ay limited lang for 3 years. At babalik din ito sa 2% pagdating ng July 1, 2023. Isa itong measures ng government to alleviate the effect of COVID-19. Then yung pang-apat, percentage tax is reduced from 3% to 1% effective July 1, 2020 to June 30, 2023. Ang pag-reduce ng percentage tax from 3% to 1% ay limited lang for 3 years starting July 1, 2020 at babalik ito sa 3% pagdating ng July 1, 2023. Kaya kayong mga non-BAT taxpayer dyan, this is a good news kasi pag mag-file kayo ng BIR Form 2551Q, ang gagamitin nyo na na-rate ay 1% instead of 3%. Since umatras po ang effectivity nito to July 1, 2020 kung saan nakapag-file na kayo ng percentage tax returns for the third and fourth quarter ng 2020 at first quarter ng 2021 using the rate of 3%. May dalawa po kayong option. Una, pwede nyo pabayaan na lang yun para naman makatulong sa government. At ang pangalawang option ay pwede nyo po i-amend ang tatlong quarters na yon para makari-over nyo ang excess percentage tax to the next quarters. So yung panglimang salient features ay rate of proprietary educational institution and hospitals is reduced from 10% to 1% effective July 1, 2020 to June 30, 2023. 
Ang pag dito ng rate from 10 to 1% ay limited lang for 3 years kung saan babalik din ito to 10% starting July 1, 2023. At take note, applicable lang ito na provision sa mga non-profit hospitals and educational institutions. Yung pang-anim na salient features ay ang imposition of improperly accumulated earnings tax or EIA is repealed. Maganda po ang provision na ito para sa mga corporation na malalaki ang mga unappropriated retained earnings kasi hindi na kayo isa subject ng improperly accumulated earnings tax. Then, yung number 7, definition of reorganization for purposes of applying the tax-free exchange provision under Section 40C2 is expanded. Prior BIR ruling or confirmation shall not be required for purposes of availing the tax exemption of the exchange. Ang maganda po sa provision na ito ay ang pagtanggal sa BIR ruling requirements kasi mapapadali na ang proseso in relation to the is of doing business ng government. Number 8. Qualified export enterprises shall be entitled to 4 to 7 years income tax holiday to be followed by 10 years 5% special corporate income tax or enhanced deduction. Then yung number 9. Qualified domestic market enterprises shall be entitled to 4 to 7 years income tax holiday to be followed by 5 years enhanced deductions. Then, number 10, registered enterprises are exempt from customs duty on importation of capital equipment, raw materials, spare parts, or accessories directly and exclusively used in the registered project or activity. Then, number 11, but exemption on importation and but zero rating on local purchases shall only apply to goods and services directly and exclusively used in the registered project or activity by a registered business enterprises. Then, number 12, for investment prior to effectivity of create, registered business enterprise granted only an income tax holiday shall continue with the availment of the income tax holiday for the remaining period of the income tax holiday while registered business enterprise granted an income tax holiday plus 5% gross income tax or currently enjoying 5% gross income tax shall be allowed to avail the 5% gross income tax 14 years. Maganda po ang mga provisions or amendments na ito kasi it will encourage investors na magtayo ng mga business at magka-create ng mga trabaho para sa mga mamamayang Pilipino. In relation po dito sa CREATE Act, naglabas po ng ilang implementing rules ang BIR tulad ng Revenue Regulations No. 2-2021, 3-2021, 4-2021, 2021 at 5-2021. For more detailed information, I encourage you na basahin ang Republic Act No. 11534 at ang mga implementing rules kasama ang pagbito ni President sa ibang portion ng batas na ito. So that's it for the topic. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you.